I started studying as an engineer in my early 50s and I'd already had approximately 30 years work experience. So once I'd finished the degree and I got into the workplace, I immediately put all those skills that I'd learned over my work life to good use. I would recommend doing the following, networking. Networking is super important to your development as an engineer or your development in any workplace. Once you, once you begin networking, you get to know people, they get to know you, and the whole flow of the office is built around those small communications. So networking, key, key um, advice that I would offer. The second piece of advice that I would offer is to set yourself up for volunteer roles because in doing a volunteer role, you can um, get to know people throughout the company who you might not otherwise meet. For instance, I volunteered to be the health and safety rep, taught me lots about the company processes, and I got to meet heaps of people and I'm still meeting them. And I also volunteered for our internal culture working group one of the things that really impressed me when I joined Stantec was the culture. And I wanted to be able to contribute to the refinement of that. And recently we've done two incredible things, to my mind, incredible, and in fact, possibly world leading. And they are that we have given unconscious bias training to people and all identifiers are removed from CVs when they arrive, which means decisions to hire are made on the basis of the evidence in front of you only, which I think is fantastic. And the other thing is that we have developed contracts for working parents so they can work during school term and have school holidays off. I started work as a graduate at Stantec and immediately I was full of questions. We're given projects to work on, we're given information, we read the information and then it is essential that we ask questions to check that we're on track, to check that we're moving in the right direction. And the staff at Stantec, my colleagues, are very supportive indeed. And in fact, they encourage us to flourish by asking questions. You ask questions, you learn, you ask more questions. I, sometimes I feel as though I'm asking more questions than I'm doing work, but all the time I am learning. And this experience is incredible and it's what makes an engineer experience. So when you start, don't be scared to ask questions. It is imperative that you do so. I've worked on a range of projects since I started at Stantec. We are a water consultancy, engineering consultancy, although we do do other stuff. I am a mechanical engineering technologist in the water section, and I've worked with pumps and with dams a lot. For dams, I've done uh, calculations about reservoir pairings, and I have to say immediately, I didn't develop those calculations, but I worked on a spreadsheet to help look at the calculations. Uh, for pumps, we select pumps for uh, transfer of waste water, mostly. And for that, you have to identify what the pump needs to do, identify suppliers, 
contact their suppliers and give them a summary of what you need the pump to do. And then they send you a lot of information which you have to uh, look through and make a decision as to what you're going to recommend and you're supported throughout that. For the dam work, I worked on penstock minor losses and I remember it being an exam question in, in two fluids papers that I did. In real life, it's a lot more interesting and a lot more difficult, but real fun as well. So I really enjoyed doing that. I've got a great mentor at Stantec who's really helpful. Um, and I also worked on pressure in a pipe as a result of putting a liner insert in a piece of pipe that can't be reached. That was fascinating because it was actually graphing the changes in pressure gradient as transients went through. I loved it. It's really a meaty stuff for water work, but it's good to get your head around it. I joined the Engineering New Zealand Regional Committee as a student rep for Otago Polytechnic and immediately got involved in setting up events. I found it was a brilliant way of meeting people in engineering throughout Otago and getting to know what engineers think and what they prioritize. In fact, I enjoyed the experience so much that when I graduated, I stepped down as a student rep and during the local elections, I stood as a graduate rep and I was lucky enough to get elected. And now I'm on the committee and one of my key interests is transition engineering which is looking at how engineers address lower carbon emission projects into the future, uh, seeing as local and central government directives are really um, emphasizing that. And the regional committee has really supported my interest in that. And we are setting up a webinar and um, a series of workshops to explore that and I'm I'm really happy about that. I fully recommend getting hold of ENZ, getting onto the committee if you can, and just exploring the ways you can grow as a member of the committee and how it will help you thrive as an engineer. Mm -hmm.